Ooh, take a look at this. This woman says, I'm going to present my researches to my professor. I'm going to present my researches to my professor. Is that right or wrong? What do you think? Is that right or wrong? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you. Hey, if you like getting tips like this, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so the answer is, it's wrong. It's wrong. You can't say researches. Researches. It's always just research. Research. You know, if you're researching some different topics, all of that is your research. Okay, it's not researches. Okay, now this could be a word if it's a verb, uh, you know, and the subject is like he, right? He researches, uh, you know, biology. He researches that. Okay, then this can be a word. But the mistake is that when, you know, when people use it in most cases, uh, and they say researches, like I'm doing researches on this topic, or here are my researches, though that's wrong. Okay, you can't say that. It's just research. It's just one thing. Okay, now research can be a verb or a noun. Okay, look at this. I'm going to research nocturnal animals. I'm going to research nocturnal animals. So here it's a verb. Uh, nocturnal. What does that mean? Nocturnal means nighttime. Animals uh, that, that live at night, at night, right? Some animals uh, come to life at night, like bats, right? This animal is called a bat. Bats are nocturnal. Are you nocturnal? I'm nocturnal. I make most of my videos here at Mad English TV at night. Right now, it's about uh, 1 a.m., one or two in the, in the middle of the night, right now. So I'm nocturnal. Okay, now it can also be a noun. I found his research unconvincing. I found his research unconvincing. Okay, you would never say researches. I found his researches unconvincing. No, you can't say that. Okay, now take a look at this. Uh, we have evidences linking him to the crime. We have evidences linking him to the crime. Is this right or wrong? What do you think? Well, the answer is it's wrong. You can't say evidences. Evidences. It's always just evidence. It's one thing. Okay. Evidence is always is just just this without the S. Okay. You can't say evidences. But I hear that mistake all the time in uh, in English, right? from English learners or, or people who, who don't speak English as their mother tongue, right? For example, sometimes I watch Al Jazeera news on my computer, right? Al Jazeera, they have a, an online streaming news in English. So I watch, you know, Al Jazeera news and a lot of those people uh, who, you know, who talk on that show, on that program, uh, they, they're not native English speakers. And I hear this all the time evidences, but that's wrong. It, the right answer is just, just evidence. Okay. Like, take a look at this. We have evidence linking him to the crime. Okay. So let's say you are at a crime scene. You're at a crime scene and there are some different things. Okay. You find a knife and you find a fingerprint, right? You find a fingerprint and some blood. Okay. So all of this together is evidence. It's evidence. It's not evidences. No, it's just, it's just evidence. Okay, so remember that. Evidence is always without the S. Okay, now here's another common mistake people make. Vocabularies. Vocabularies. You know, you never have to say this word. Just never say it with S. Ever. In your whole life. Just forget about this. Just say vocabulary. I would like to improve my vocabulary. I would like to improve my vocabulary. Okay, that's it. Forget about this word. So many English learners say this word, but that's wrong. It's, it's, it's wrong. It's like this too. Staffs. Staffs. You know, sometimes people say uh, the staffs at that hotel. No, that's wrong. It's not with an S. It's just staff. Staff. 
The staff at the hotel were really friendly. The staff at the hotel were really friendly. Okay, staff is 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 just one thing. It's you know it's a bunch of people, right? There might be like ten staff members, right? Each person is a staff member, but together they are the staff, not staffs. Okay, so this is also a common mistake. Now take a look at that verb were. Should it be the staff? was or the staff were? What do you think? Well, you know what? Words like this in English are confusing. Do they take a plural verb or a singular verb? You know, even native English speakers are confused about this. You know, sometimes you'll hear this thing, sometimes you'll hear hear this thing, right? So if you said the staff at the hotel was really friendly, that would be great. Was. Or the staff at the hotel were really friendly. Okay, you hear both. They're very common in English. Uh, take a look at this example. Okay. I don't know when Sony is or are going to release their next camera. I don't know when Sony is going to release their next camera. Or I don't know when Sony are going to release their next camera. Which one is right? Well, in my opinion, uh, it should be is. It should be is, right? Sony is, because Sony is a company, right? It's it's one company. But sometimes people might think of, of Sony as, you know, a group of people, right? A company is made up of a group of people. So then they might they might say Sony are. Sony are. Actually, I do a lot of research uh, about cameras. I love photography. And I listen to uh, you know, I watch YouTube videos of people talking about camera related things, okay? And most of the people I watch are, are native English speakers. And many of them say Sony are. They would say, I don't know when Sony are going to release their next camera. Okay, uh, one guy I watch is from Australia. Another guy is from the US. I think another guy is from uh, England. Okay, so a lot of these people you know, it doesn't matter where they are, which which kind of English, if it's Australian English or American English, I hear both Sony is and Sony are. Okay, so, you know, I don't know why. I don't know why people are confused about that. But native English speakers, <laughs> you know, sometimes they say different things. I don't know why, but I just want you to know that because you might be confused. Why is this native English speaker saying is in this native English speaker saying are. Well, that's why. It's just it's just confusing, right? Now, don't worry too much about this. Okay, don't worry. But if you are going to take a grammar test and and you want to practice this, then just Google subject verb agreement exercises, right? Type into Google subject verb agreement exercises and you will find a lot of good practice you know, for this, this stuff. It's called subject verb agreement. The staff is, the staff are. Hmm, which one is it, right? So you'll find those kinds of things if you Google that. Hey, let's do some homework. What do you like to research? What do you like to research? Personally, I like to research camera, cameras, camera related things, photography, anything to do with technology. That's what I like to research. But how about you? Let me know what you like to research down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.